I would put on my Moulin Rose Cosmetics Scrunchie, but can tell you, it took it. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to our channel. It's Taylor. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys some products that I wouldn't repurchase. I feel like I'm only showing you guys products that I would purchase, so why not switch it up today and show you some products that I wouldn't repurchase or really recommend. First product we have is the Elf Jelly Pop Primer. It looks like this. As you can tell, mine is almost empty. All these products I'm showing you today, I am trying to use up and just go through. I'm not one to really waste makeup, so I'm trying to use them up. This primer, um, I think I don't like it because it's a gel primer, as you can tell. And I have dry skin, so maybe that's why I don't like it. Oh, I feel like it makes your makeup, it makes your makeup. I feel like it makes your face nice and tacky for when you do your makeup, but I, know, I feel like it makes your makeup stick better because it is a tacky primer. Besides that, I feel like it doesn't do anything. I don't know if it claims to do anything else, but it's not moisturizing. It's not really like pore filling or anything. It's just sticky, which in that sense is fine, but what are we purchasing? Not unless I absolutely had to. Like, it's not bad, it's just not that good either. I don't know, I just don't particularly enjoy it. Now moving on to the eyes. The next product I have is the NYX Bear With Me Concealer Serum. I have mine in the shade, in the shade, I don't know. No, I really don't know what shade it is. This is what it looks like. This is another product that I'm almost finished with. I'm gonna use this for my face and to prime my eyes. Reasons why I don't like this. First of all, you can tell the cap is super messy. Like it's hard to apply. Number two, I don't like how it's in a pump. I get it that it's a concealer serum, so it makes sense that it's in a pump. It's just, it'd be better if it was in a wand tube or something. I feel like if you put it in a wand tube, then that defeats the whole purpose. And then um, lastly, I feel like it just doesn't do anything. It's supposed to be light coverage, and I'm a person that prefers tinted moisturizer over a traditional foundation. So you think I would like this? I would not repurchase this for that reason. I don't know. Like it blew up on TikTok, and everybody was like, "Wow, it's so amazing!" I don't see the hype, and I do feel like it's it blends out better with a brush. I do still use it with a sponge, but that's just because I like using a sponge for my concealer. So for eyeshadow, I moved you guys closer so you can get a better look. For this category, I have two palettes. Erin, if you're watching, I'm sorry. But the first palette is the ColourPop Baby Got Peach palette. What it looks like, as you can tell, my Hunger Ghost shade fellow. This palette is so pretty and I've seen so, I watched so many reviews before I asked for this palette for, I think for my birthday. Honestly, yeah, probably for my birthday. And I watched so many reviews of dark skin girls with my skin tone and darker. It looks so beautiful on them, but then when I get it, it's patchy and powdery. So yeah, not my favorite from ColourPop. The next palette I have is the NYX Ultimate Brights palette. It looks like this. You guys can use this in videos before. Like these two rolls, it's fine. These two, not so much. Some of the shades work better than the other. This one is also very patchy and hard to blend. Some of the colors normally show up. The first shade I'm gonna go in with is Ready or Yacht. Tapping might be the way to go. But as you can tell, literally nothing. Well, I guess it's coming up. I don't know if I color just makes better palettes than this. But every time I blend, the colors just disappear. As you can tell. Mm, I'm gonna jump to the next palette. I'm gonna use a mixture of this pink shade, red or pink. This red shade and this pink shade. It's looking pink on camera, but it's supposed to be red. And I think it's shimmery, so we'll see. I can't tell this if this is helping or making it worse. I want to say that it's making it worse, honestly. Now I'm going to go in with the shimmer. I'm going to use Get Even from the Baby Got Peach palette. Then on this side, I'm going to use Centerfold, which I don't think is an eye shade. Nope. Centerfold is not intended for the eye. Oh. 
What's going on there today? Oh, this this one is not as good. Ooh. We'll see. Oh, that's pretty. Hmm. I will try the graphic liner with this one though, eventually. Should we do it now? I mean, it, it can't get any worse, can it? Oh, absolutely not. I'm gonna do it again on my left eye, but I'm gonna try a different shade and a different brush. Okay, this one's a little bit better. Oh wait, that's way better. I mean, the pigment could be better, but. I'm not even gonna put eyeliner and lashes on because there's, there's no point in trying to save this look. This is the NYX Shout Loud Satin Lipstick in the shade Red Hot. I got this in a Walmart booty box a few months ago. I don't think there's nothing wrong with this formula, really. I don't really like satin lipsticks. So maybe that's why, I don't know, I feel like it's just not my favorite formula from NYX. I mean, as you can tell, I have used it. I will continue to use it, it's just not my favorite formula from NYX. So if I had to go out and purchase this, I wouldn't. All it smells like, I mentioned this in the video, it smells like artificial cherries, I think. Like, I don't know, it's, it's like some like lip product you would get from the beauty supply store. That's what it smells like. So yeah, here's the final look. Pretty, isn't it? Yeah, the lipstick, um, it's called Red Hot. When I think of Red Hot, I'm thinking of something deeper than this. This is very like Red Cherry. That's what they should name it or something like that. But yeah, um, the lipstick is okay. Like, it feels fine on the lips. I don't like how glossy it is. It is a satin, so. If you're, if you're gonna call something red hot, make it red hot. This is not red enough for me. So that's it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel. Also, leave me a comment down below what's a beauty product that you wouldn't repurchase. If you guys want to see a full face makeup of products that I love and always repurchase, then let me know. I might already do that, but yeah, so let me know and bye guys.